What the hell is up, everybody? So, um... Here's a game. Um, I just kind of randomly decided to play. I wasn't sure what to do today. Uh, so, I installed this last night. I played a little bit of it. This game's pretty cool. New Star GP. Um, it is a video game. A cool video game. I, I don't really know what to say. Well, it's a... It's a Carl, what happened there? <laughs> what happened to your sins? I don't know what the hell to say. <laughs> Retro, low poly, Formula One style game. It's got it is it's really cool. It's got a championship mode. It's got a career mode. It's got multiple decades of Formula One style cars. And I've been I've played around with this for a couple hours uh last night. I've already done the first three uh rounds of the cha the uh the first season of the career. Um the way the career is laid out is pretty interesting. So each round, you have uh, a couple, like, random events to do to earn, like, money and trophies. And then at the end, you have the Grand Prix, which you can only run... You only... So these, you can, like, restart and redo them as many times as you want. You can only do the Grand Prix once, and then it moves on to the next uh, round. Um, but there's a whole ass, like, upgrade system, so you earn money to upgrade your car, and apparently the teams also upgrade their cars throughout the season. You have personnel that have perks, and, uh, morale is not good, because I don't know how to do, I, I don't know how to make them happy. I haven't quite figured out the morale system other than spend money to make them happy. Uh, this is cool. You can do, like, temporary alliances with certain teams to get, like, temporary, uh, upgrades. This is neat. Customization. Change your car colors. I also have two different, uh, chassis as I can use. Oh, I lost one of my sponsors. Okay. Interesting. They kind of come and go. Hmm. Here's the trophy wall. Here's the achievement wall. Here's my stat so far. Won two GPs out of three. Purchased 15 upgrades. Yeah, I've been messing around with this game. It's good. Having fun. Figured I'd do a stream of it. Not necessarily first impressions, because I've already been playing this game for a couple hours, but yeah. So here's my car. We're in the 80s season. Here's my car. I have a uh, top speed upgraded to level 2. I have uh, efficiency upgraded to level 2. And acceleration level 2. Level 2 downforce, level 2 uh, suspension, uh, level 2 tire wear, level 1 brakes, level 1 transmission. Yeah. I don't know, this game's cool. What's really interesting to me about this game is the gameplay itself. Um, okay, I'm actually going to do a test drive here because looks very Hockenheim-y, and I suck at Hockenheim. Oh, and it's wet. Okay. Let's go out on slicks. No. There's some weird 
timing with the start where you get start boost. I don't know how it works exactly. But, um... Here's the game. God, the puddles in the rain are crazy. You would think a game that looks like this would have very, very arcadey physics. This is actually, like, really... realistic physics. Like, you have to properly slow down and, like, drive it like it's more of a, uh... I guess, if... Uh... I guess to use an easily identifiable label, Simcade. And then you get boost. I don't know, I've been... Between this and, uh, Exocross, I found this, like... Mini-genre of, like... Realistic handling games with, like, more arcade, uh, like, features and gimmicks to it, like boosting and stuff, and I really dig it. Just because the game has realistic handling and stuff doesn't mean it can't also have fun things. Really enjoying this. There's fuel consumption. There's tire wear. There's it. There's damage. There's a lot. Like you look at like. This is one of those games where like the looks are of it are very deceiving. Like oh, it's probably some kind of like pole position, like rip off, uh, not rip off, but like inspired by like pole position or something. And then you get into it, and it's like actually like got a lot of really intricate features. Oh, I think it's I think it's neat. What happens if I put slick tires on a wet track? How how badly does the car drive? No, it isn't, yeah. <clears throat> I gotta know. How bad, how bad is the slick tire? Oh, yeah, it's real bad. No grip. No grip. <laughs> okay. So let's do this checkpoint race here. Pass through the checkpoint for added time. Beat the clock. The better you do. More money. Oh god, this. Alright. So, my pet chief wants me to go to the test track. Or something. But my manager wants me to go to a party. The one I choose will gain happiness. The one I don't choose will become very, very, uh, upset. And I don't know how to deal with the morale in this game other than... just... Uh... Pay for their happiness, because you can spend money to make them happier. Top tips, fuel weight has an effect on cornering, braking, and acceleration of a car. Fuel weight is a thing in this game. Your tires can only last two laps. There's no point filling your car with more fuel than you need to get around two laps. Yeah. Here we go. Do this. Yeah, this is just like... Kind of like a practice program, almost. Get through checkpoints, there's other people on the track while you're here. 
<laughs> We're not like directly racing them. I, it's like, it's like, what if you took like the virtual racing pole position style and added an F1 My Team mode to it? This is that's how it feels to me. It's kind of sick. By kind of sick, I mean very sick. <clears throat> when we get to like a Grand Prix race, uh, the AI drivers are also like really interesting. Because there's also a rival system in this game. Kind of like uh, the EA NASCAR games, where if. Uh, Depending on how you race against others, they'll either like you or hate you more. Anyways, I'm just gonna play this for a couple hours and have fun. Is that one gate practice thingy? Yeah. Oh, excuse you. Yeah, the names, the driver names are very obviously inspired by um, F1 drivers of the time. I did it. And because I made it to the end and also didn't use any rewinds, I get the maximum rewards. So bucks is the currency. That's the stars. You get extra bucks for uh, setting a new personal best. Cups is for, um, is like your uh, complete star rating. Or whatever. I missed one in round two because I finished second in the uh, the Grand Prix. He's doing what with this kit? In every five cups you earn, you unlock a uh, perk. <clears throat> um. Okay, so we can either get an ex extra fuel if I run out on track, or I can get faster refueling. I, I really don't know. Should probably focus on some making somebody happy. Oh yeah, I get this newspaper blurb after each event. Caught up with some of the new star racing team after a recent checkpoint race performance. One of them told me, there's just a feeling that driver and car, real harmony. Keep this up, and New Star Racing will be a force to be reckoned with. Sure. So I'm just gonna buy her happiness. She was miserable, now she's just unhappy. So what do I even have here? I got... 10 bucks per lap. Uh, a 10 buck bonus per lap. I got faster tire changes and I got easy start. Honestly, I probably won't need this until the Grand Prix, so let's get a. Hmm. Like how Slipstream is a perk. Also, he is not happy. His face is red. Selection. Yeah, the roulette thing. Alright, I got some money. Let's invest some upgrades. Do max out fuel efficiency. Hmm. Or make the car handle better. 
to make the car handle better. The modder. Yeah, sure, I'll upgrade the brakes. Oh my god, I got another achievement. Um, oh, we can check the points. Here's the point standings. Here's the here's the drivers. So we have Gilles Verville, hmm. uh, Rene Arnoud, KK Ronco, Gerhard Becker. That one's a little more obvious. Michaela Alberello, uh, Nikki Lauba, <laughs> Nigel Mawson, Ayrton Serafino, Derek Warburton. Gee, I wonder. I wonder. Uh, Hmm. I wonder if these names are references. Hmm. And then here's my uh, relationship with each driver. Kayla Alvarez is canonically trans. That's very based. Oh god, reverse track. Okay, this would be interesting. It's the same track, but different. Ooh, and it's raining. <laughs> Try and beat your opponents racing the opposite way around the track and the pits when your tires are worn and your fuel is low and your or your car is damaged. If you screw up, use a rewind. Oh, this is like a straight up race, okay. I have like a weather forecast. You can look at track info. Game's cool. Why would you lie to me like that, Saturn? Why would you spread misinformation on the internet? Genuinely. I thought it was like a really cool feature that Dez put in. Now I'm just. Because there's no indication that this was a ha ha funny. It's like, I don't know everything about this game and the characters. She could have actually been trans. Especially when it was, uh said so matter-of-factly. Like, oh, by the way, she's actually trans. This is canon. Oh, okay. It's okay, we've got Difficult Optar here, even though I can't actually name my driver in this game. I think the puddles actually cool off your tires. And there, there's a lot of things that this game like simulates that you would not expect a game that looks like this to simulate. I must have missed it then. It's really good. I've only played it for a couple hours, but it's really good so far. Again, what what you think you might be getting by the graphics and stuff is not what you're gonna get. This is a very uh, very realistic Formula One style game. I need fuel. I 
don't know how much fuel I needed. Cool. Okay, here's your look around. I just I need to scroll through the different cameras because there's a lot of different camera angles. You have your this. You can have a cockpit cam. None of the gauges actually do anything, but if you want to be a sim racer, here you are. You got near chase, you got far chase, you got a really far chase. And you got this. Got this top. I actually kind of like this top down camera, I'm not going to lie. Probably use my boost. Boost refills every lap. Character, I must have missed that option because I swear I didn't see it. Oh no. Nope. No. Nope. Anyways, I like the near chase cam. Unsurprising. Also like two difficulty settings you can choose at the beginning of the game that you can't change afterwards. I have it on the harder setting. No, just the kid. Driver to speed. Oh, fuck. All right. Bernard Racing driver Michaela Abarello fears to finish behind the kid. The kid. Today, she drives appalling driving. She's a mess. Michaela who? Great, why not? Simon's happiness is trending up, I guess. The other two, not so much. Uh, I was going to do something. I can't remember what. Oh, hello. What do you want? thought you were better than this. Guess I'll have to teach you a lesson on track. Okay, bitch. She, she don't like me as much anymore. again. Don't want to get all three trophies. <laughs> I still have no idea how the, the quick start launch uh, works. I'm 
not a damn clue. Go. I need to check out more of these, uh, oh, excuse me, these, uh, oh yeah, the driver's actually a moat on the track, GT Sophie style. This game's cool. I need to play more. Need to play more of these uh, retro-inspired indie games. There's a quite a lot of them on the market now. And they all look cool. I also have this weird fascination with trying to prove to the internet that racing games are still good. You're just being whiny baby idiots. It's... Okay. Yeah, it's worth checking out. Hopefully that's enough fuel. <laughs> new racing game to you. Um. All right. Define new. How how large of a range are we talking here? A year, two years, five years. Very important to my answer. At most two years. pick one. I'm going to say, even though it's it's been out for more than two years, I'm going to say Gran Turismo 7 because it's still in active development, and that game is fantastic. Um, I also got to shout out Super Woden GP2. That game is... Love that game. Honestly, I'm just trying to think of anything that has released in the past couple years that I've actually played. Like other than GT7, Woden, Exocross, and this, I can't really think of anything. GT7 is not perfect. I mean, no game is. I have I have uh, criticisms about that game myself, but the actual like as a total package, I love GT7. I would go as far as to say as it is my favorite racing game that has released since Grid One. Put it in the record books. Yeah, people, 
Hi, Taylor. Because, yeah, Grid 1 came out after Forza, Forza 2, so. Time. It has been a minute. But I'd be over here. Anyways, another news but paper blurb about how we're doing so great. Celebrate International Cat Day. Unfortunately, I do not have a feline with which to celebrate it anymore. Both, both of my cats are dead. Um... Okay, I can upgrade tire wear, I can upgrade the brakes. <clears throat> right, yeah. It happens. I wish I could afford these, uh, this engine upgrade. Five bucks short. So is the driving. Oh, absolutely. The driving is fantastic in GT7, and... Um, whenever you can actually get in a, like, the, the AI is fantastic in that game. Like, so once you get past, like, the beginner tier AI that are <laughs> funnily mistake prone, the, the racing against the AI is phenomenal. Alright, so it's Grand Prix time. So... I'm gonna get these because I get extra money for. Oops. So plus 90 for a podium. And then she also can give me plus 90 for not well, not crashing. I don't know about this one, but I'm gonna apply it anyways. And then I'm also gonna enable the faster refueling perk. Yeah. You gotta be really smart with how you manage your money, because I could just spend all my money now to make my crew happy, but... I need that money for future upgrades so I don't fall behind. Ooh, we got a new sponsor? Oh! What are specific perks? Uh, give me different sponsors. I actually don't know. They just kind of come and go. Money can't buy happiness, yes. At least in this game. Alright, let's just go for it. After the Danube Grand Prix. Do this. Hello, Simon. Hey, kid, I got a real problem rebuilding the gearbox in time for the next race. We could pay to completely replace it on a roughly 30% risk of it badly malfunctioning. Oh. That's not good. Well, I guess I'm going to be spending money. <laughs> to make sure the, uh, the gearbox doesn't fucking destroy itself. Oh, that's fine. And you join me here for the new GP. I'm. I don't know what the voice that was. I can't do a. Uh... The hell was his name? Murray Walker, or whatever voice. You saw racing. I've taken an early lead in this season's championship. There's still plenty of racing to go, but 26 points already on the board. They're setting at the early pace. Yeah. I do like this. We can actually set up our different strategy. We have soft tire and a hard tire. This track eats tires. Bear that in mind. Mm. 
So I could either do a one stop on the hard tire or a two stop on the soft tire. Or I could set my own custom strat. I did get faster refill. You know what? I'm going to go for the two stop. In hindsight, probably should have went with the one stop. Oh yeah, here's the starting grid. And everyone's tire choice. Yeah. That feels illegal. Where we're going. Go. Oi. AI in this game are aggressive. They they race you like uh, Formula One drivers. They like blocking. Or aggressive defending. Alright, so I'm like directly racing with the soft tire runners right now. Then everyone on the hard tire. I mean, I need to pass them, but like. That's why I blocked you on Twitter. Joke's on you, as I locked my Twitter. I also don't use it, so. I would have just outright deleted my Twitter if I didn't need it to scream at Corpos for. Uh, their services that they're giving that I'm paying them for not working. Better than they are. Move is three point eight six eight six. Left sides are wearing. the tire wear. I like the visual like tire wear as well. Start getting a little gray. Blow all my boost on pit in. Soft tires. I don't know how much fuel I needed, so sure. I don't know yet, Inferno. So, so uh, from what I've seen in the championship mode, it looks like each track has an A layout and a B layout, so I don't know if there's any specific era differences. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll progress enough through this game in... Uh, the limited time I have today to stream to find out. <clears throat> Alright. Should be in the lead of the soft runners. Umbrella's on the hard tire. So the hard runners are in the pits now. <clears throat> Clock and train, I have not. Um, see which ones I have I done? I've done Silverstone, National, 
Uh, obviously, Hungar Hungarunt. Um, can't remember the other tracks I've driven. I've only done the short layouts of them. B layouts. I haven't done any of the full tracks yet. Can't hear the radio well enough to see, tell if he's actually speaking English to me or Simlish. Stop. Alright. The strategy has worked out in my favor. In the overall lead. Um probably take a peek at the tracks track list in this game. And other modes. We'll, we'll take a look after I finish this Grand Prix. Anyways, yeah, this game's really cool. Me like. The Retro Bowl. Oh, that's what I said on one of the... Uh, Advertisements. Final lap. I have a five second lead. Holy shit. Yeah, I haven't really seen much of this game. I've like watched a couple gameplay videos and thought, wow, this game looks really cool. But maybe a little difficult to drive, and then I drove the game and realized, oh, they were just having skill issues. Okay. Triple's one of the other games. Is that the football game? Team New Star. Not going in, yeah. Pretty sure all the tracks in this game are like loosely based off of the real life counterparts, but with just, you know, little tweaks. I win! I do like this lap time comparison thing. One by nine seconds over Shilvervel. Damn. Yeah, like they're accurate to a certain point. There's like one section of the track that's like either got an extra turn or like the turns are less sharp. All right, six point or eight point lead. Sweet. I have admirers. <laughs> Not so secret admirers. Winner is me. Give me my bucks. Oh, time to piss somebody off. Alright, let's see. I can either get an extra plus one on my grid spot, or I can slow the pit wheel. Hmm.
Sorry, Esme. In other news, Ayrton Serafino could only apologize to their team today after accidentally formatting a memory stick with their car's latest test results on it. Oops. Apparently they wanted to save some photos from their camera and it was the only memory stick they could find. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, shit, it's time for Quebec. Not Trial. All right, so I've done not Silverstone. I've done, uh, I don't even know what the fuck this track is. And not Red Bull Ring. Let's make her less miserable. Alright, I'm gonna back out. So we have... See if I can look at all the tracks in hot lap mode. Click the decade you like to race in, race team for hot lap, and later decade choose faster cars and times will be. Blah, 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 blah. Say so we have 80s, 90s, all the way to 2020s with their very interesting um, Halo. Dennis! Long, long man. Alright, so we got Austria. That's, uh... I guess that's supposed to be, yeah, that's supposed to be Monza. Also Hungar Hungary. Singapore? Oh, Poland. I can recognize flags. So she isn't. Uh, it is uh, Sochi, isn't it? Oh, this is Singaporean. Okay. Or Baku, or ah, God damn it! Why are the streets? Why? Why can't I recognize the damn street streets? <laughs> Yeah, that's Baku. Persian Gulf. This is obvi obviously Abbas Dabbas. One Baku. Mm, I don't know. Tokyo. This is, um... I guess supposed to be Suzuka. Brisbane, which is obviously Albert Park. Brasilia, gee, I wonder. I'll paint Park. And then Texas. Spooky ghost track. Quebec, Montreal, and Valencia, so the circuit not Ricardo Tormo. <laughs> Code ain't it, G. And Northampton, which is a uh, bronze pebble.
Is that Catalonians? Oh yeah, it is Catalonians. I don't know why I was thinking it was, uh... Yeah, Brussels, which is... I guess it's supposed to be Spa. Yeah, it's Spa. I can see the... Cote de Jour. Gee, I wonder. Can't believe they put a Gran Turismo track in here. And then... I don't know how to pronounce that. Rhine? Rene? I guess this is... Hockenheim? Looks Hockenheim. And then the Adriatic Sea. Um... All right, I got nothing on this one. Oh, it's Imola? Oh yeah, it is kind of Imola, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, that's all that's all the tracks. All right. Cool. Anyways, here's championship mode. You can do four-player, like, split-screen, I think split-screen co-op. Um, I have a 2010's car. I haven't driven anything up that isn't the 80s. Diamond speed. <coughs> PGF. Sportive. Rossi. Reed. Falcini. Ludici. Rue. Sure. Uh, Vantage is like a handicap thing. I can set my initials. And here's our championship selection. I've already done the Novice Cup. I did an 80s car, so your progress is not, uh, separated by a decade. There's actually a lot of championships to do. Most of these are locked. International Track Cup. Easy Track Cup. America. European. Global. Um. Let's do the uh, let's do the America Track Cup. So pit stops will be on. Weather will be a thing. Four laps. Normal difficulty AI and damage will be on. Yeah, they just put the Sochi in Poland. That's a race. The American Track Cup visits, visits three tracks on the American continent. Texas is a highly technical track, while Quebec and Brasilia offer long straights and full throttle speeds. All tracks are short configuration and CPU drivers are set to normal difficulty. Six juice tires, A to confirm a choice, blah blah blah, fuel. Trick to remove it. Oh, okay. Oh, so I can set my f starting fuel. Interesting. Sorry, I'm having fun. What if I just start with a full tank? Total cola. I don't know. I I have no idea how the start boost works. I feel like I need to reread the explanation of it. I don't even know if I can redo the uh the re 
read the tutorial stuff. Oh god. I haven't driven this track yet. It's the wall, brother. Well, now I know. Tuxus. A lot of dust. Easy. Alright, I think starting with a full tank of fuel was not a good idea. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Run! That was a motherfucker sticking his tongue out at me. Like I said, they drive you like F1 drivers. They'll block and pinch the shit out of you. <laughs> I keep forgetting to slow down. Oh, my front tires are dead. Fuck boy or girl. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Dude, what's with the dust storm over here? this time. Dr. Pepper Swirl, that's interesting. I've seen Dr. Pepper beans, like canned beans, baked beans, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Think about those pepper beans. There might be a low chance I run out of gas here. There's a more than zero chance I run out of gas. Thinking about those beans. Actually, I should be fine. I 
Yeah, we're good. Woohoo! I win. As good as those beans. Thinking about them though. Yeah. Oh, I killed him in the fastest lap. Holy shit. Dun dun. Very good. We going to Quebec, eh? Commentary team here is in Quebec. Man made island that hosts a circuit of fast straights and type ins. Overlooked by the imposing skyline of bustling city areas. There are a city across the water. Yeah. Alright, um. Sure, we'll go for this again. So yes. Uh. This blimp cam's really cool. Oh, then it lowers itself to go under the uh, little bridges. in the slipstream. Virtual racing vibes. Just got really good vibes in general. Shit. I don't. Something, something projection. You know, one thing I have not done a good job at all so far with this game is paying attention to my fuel. Oh, pit ends right here. I was about to say, did I miss? Look, it's the barrier of uh, successful people. I don't know. Barrier of conquerors. There we go. I couldn't think of a synonym for champions.
<laughs> murals. Excuse you. Blue flag, blue flag. Sorry. Couldn't resist. Yay. I'm not gonna win. Almost has sub one minute fast lap. Almost. Oh shit, Brazil. Time to go to Brazil. Chance is often a direction. Challenge where the cars are most into the bow. Ba -da -ba. <laughs> Aha, funny sound. What's up, PK? To the, shout out to the uh, Street Fighter uh, kart racer that exists. And it's probably difficult to search because it's just called Street Racer. <laughs> Recharge the yeah. Coward. Yeah, he's laughing now, bitch. Almost missed pit entry. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go hard tires. The soft got fucked. Just to link here. As long as it's not malicious or porn. Or piracy. Go! Oh. If executed with the lead, I also stumbled across stumbled on that pronunciation of exited. Wait, that was Limewire. Yes. Shout out Limewire. Early internet was a uh good place. It's the final lap. Hang in there.
Excuse me. <laughs> Are we? By a lot. Oh. <laughs> oh, Renee. They're so upset, and I'm not. I win. Jeez, I was being so aggressive with it. I win. That means I've unlocked all these, most of these. Curious about the endurance cup. Casual. I like this sound. Sorry, that was having fun. music. Just looking at the different cars. Question mark to join. There's a, you can do a split screen co-op multiplayer in this mode. Uh, because I only have one controller plugged in. There is no input for another player to join. Alright, let's do this. I don't want to. Um, look at my achievements. The Silver Racer. What do you mean multiplayer? I guess technically championship mode is a uh, multiplayer. Oh, this trophy room's cool. Um, okay.
There we go. Hmm. Let's upgrade the top speed since we are at Montreal. Yeah, I know those car silhouettes are just like, hey, you won the championship with this car, but I haven't won a championship yet, so they're just a silhouette. Oh, this is a time trial, okay. Let's go. Canada. So, 59 second target. No rewinds. For the uh, for all the trophies. Infinite rewinds. Rewinds as many times as you want. Oh. Alright, I'll get the reserve tank. New star fast in time trials. Look at that smile. All oh, testing and development seems work seems to be paying off for new star racing. The next in time trial performance in which their target time was hit. Car seemed in good shape for the remaining events of the season. God damn right. So straight to the Grand Prix, yeah. Okay. I guess. Screw it. Simon. Hey kid, got a bug somewhere deep in the engine software. We're struggling fine. We could pay to run some extra diagnosis, get it right for the next race, or just take what well, I think is a roughly 30% chance of it malfunctioning. Well, unfortunately, I can't afford to uh, check that, so I guess this is just gonna. Mood is subdued in the garage of Auto Power International today. Our driver, Nikki Lauba, refused to talk to us. We've heard his car suspension is proving tricky to settle for this track, causing problems in the corners. Well then. So there is a more than zero chance that our engine might grenade itself. Um, Do the uh, we'll do the uh, two stop. 
I guess. Jill's on a two stopper. Nikki Lube. Away we go. Oh, they they race each other hard too. Ooh. Contact. It's not just the player they scrap with, they scrap with each other as well. Honestly, I like when that happens. Get AI, they'll race each other as aggressively as they race the player. On the car. And we're seven seconds up the road. dare you. No, no, no. Get back here, coward. No regard for pit speed limits. <laughs> because I'm not paying enough attention to the fuel. Excuse you. No. <laughs> mm, I'm mad. Luxury cut. Uh oh. Oops. Well, there goes my uh, 90 buck bonus. The hairpin, you fool. I think two stopper was not the strat here. Despite my chief telling me that a one stop was not a good idea. Four point three second stop. New record. Oh damn! I'm in fifth. All right. 
<laughs> I got work to do these last two laps. Podium. I don't think I'm going to be finishing higher than third. Unless something crazy happens. I keep thinking those uh, chevron lights are like caution lights. There's no cautions in this game. At least it seems that way. I will take third place. Still got a podium. Catching any, where does not any catching reveal? He was cooking this race. Team had that car set up. Still got a two point lead though. Well, at least I'm on good terms with most of the drivers. My team, however, I don't know. <laughs> Three trophies, damn. Save the world. It's been talking to some of the other drivers in pit lane. Seems they all agree to donate their fees for this race. Save the Earthworm Society. Are you also prepared to donate your winnings for this race? Dude, fuck Earthworms. Stupid worm shit. Oh, yes, hello. Oh. This is new. Hey, this is Raymond Deator at Team Titan Calling. I'm their chief engineer, but you probably heard of me already. Luckily for you, I'm ready for a move. What do you say? Okay. So, let's see. Loves praise, gets on with everyone, upgrades are more expensive. Versus Simon, who really appreciates compliments, is friendly but hates corruption, and unlucky. More repair requests. Hmm. He's spending all my money to hire him. Let's go for it. Oh, fuck, Brazil's next. Got reverse, elimination, and then GP. I've already forgotten what raises we're doing.
Okay, so these parts are like 60 bucks extra. Oof. Yeah, it looks like he adds a 10%. Adds 10% to the cost of parts. Oh well. Do uh, Brazil. I guess we're starting with a reverse race. Oh, yes, hello. Dilemma. Where you choose gains happiness? Very unhappy staff mate. Oh, fuck. I don't want to make him upset immediately. I choose against Raymond, I'm gonna lose like the extra uh, boosts to his perks. Sorry, Esme. I don't wanna lose my extra perks. Smile. Birds. Go. Boy. Blocking me. Oh, my ass. How dare you? Oh my god, the slipstream. Fall a little bit behind on developments. If you need to suck. <laughs> Oops. I guess I could have rewound that. Oh well. My wing's a little shaky. Must be regenerative damage. Maybe. Actually, no, I don't know. No, it's still shaky. Alright, listen here, motherfucker. That's what I thought. That is very interesting taking this the Cinna S in the other direction. And 
definitely not winning this race. Oh my, not even get a podium. You did not make the podium. Unfortunate. No new awards. Eh, I got 40 bucks, I guess. Cash bonus. Father of New Star Racing's drivers finally cashed in the bet he placed on her one day becoming a racing driver way back when she was just a humble go-kart racer. It's kindly given New Star Racing a cover 200 bucks for doing most of the hard work, bringing this bet to fruition. Oh, he actually did give us 200 bucks. Okay, sick. I guess I could grade this. Let's try this again. Think about which perks equipped for you to hit sponsors are right for your area bucks. All player performance perks will increase your chances of winning events. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. So you can grind everything except the uh, the actual Grand Prix at the end. You only get one shot at that. But the other the pre-race or pre-Grand Prix uh, activities you can do over and over. enough fuel in there. Oh, I definitely short stop for fuel. Hopefully this is enough. Strategy! Go!
Go. Just to find all that. I'm gonna be very tight on fuel. I think we can make it though. Is me. Yeah. Give me my money. Shit, new perk. Reduce collision damage. Unlocks the restart option. Ooh. <laughs> no longer ecstatic. He's happy plus. New star race to take first place. Uh, uh, chief engineer. The ice bucket emptied all of them. Well then. Alright, so I don't get the ecstatic, ecstatic bonus anymore. Upgrade the brakes, but do I really want to? No, no, I don't. Oh, nope, yes, hello. Most of you aren't using any of the perks I bring to the table. I'm starting to think you don't value my contribution to. Oh. Okay, Gage. This will make you feel better. Ooh, elimination race. Like, uh, oh, camera change. You can change your camera view to shit like this or this. Go. They keep trying to boost right off the line, and you don't get any boost until you actually cross the start line. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Contact. Trouble. Make a smoochy face at me, Ronko. I need an engine to upgrade bad. They're defeating me in the speed department. Quite handily. Close enough to at least get a slipstream off of him. Not quite there. Now I'm there. Go! P2. Need 
the sock. I need the sock. Funky as hell. Hi, Reaper. Imagine virtual racing, but with realistic physics. It's like, it's, it's basically just, it, it's like virtual racing in modern F1 games had a baby. It's very, very, very cool. I did. the engine upgrade. I jumped the hot shot first. They're they're kind of similar in art style at least. And they have that similar similar uh, look. Our racing made things look easy today. Blah 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 blah. All right. Just short on funds. Those engine upgrades. I can get the uh, efficiency upgrade. I guess. That won't really help me though. Uh, to an extent, yes, yeah, Aston. I don't know if you get. I think you can only get extra money for like beating your previous best time though. Hmm. Oh, that's expensive. Okay. Rewards? I don't know. I haven't tried, so I don't know for sure. Oh, yes, hello. Oh, another engineer, okay. This is Arthur Turn calling. Arctic Turn? Currently at AFAX. International. What if you want to have a vacancy for a new chief engineer? Easily pleased. Blank canvas to others. Untidy, increased chance of injuring others. Ooh. If I do... Wait, no. I wouldn't be able to afford if I hired this dude, because it's funny. I'm gonna keep Raymond. He got mad. He got real mad. Sheesh. Alright, um... It's Grand Prix time. So, hmm. We'll do that so everyone has a perk applied. Okay. To the Brasilia GP. Oh, yes, hello. Oh. Hey, kid. Having trouble getting suspension working optimally in time for the next race. We could pay the staff to pull an all-nighter, get it right, or run a roughly 40% risk of it badly malfunctioning on the track. <sighs> yeah. I'll pay. Man, managing all the micromanaging you have to do with, mo with money and shit. There's a, there's a lot going on here. Dragon each of the season. I don't know for sure. Um, I know if you do good enough in a season, you can move up to the next decade, but I don't know if it's optional. Play this game enough. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go with the one stop here. On the hards. 
bit of a veil. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six drivers on the two stop strategy, and then four on, including me, on the uh, one stop. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oh god. I was not ready for the lack of grip from the hard tire plus all the fuel on board. Oh, things are happening. Thing things are happening. Holy crap. It's fine. Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon. Whew. That was close. I should probably use my boots. We're at the end of the lap. Unlimited tries of GPs because you started it. <laughs> um, I do not understand the question. There is a grammar fail there. I got one hard tire runner in front of me. And it's Gilles Vivelle. My main championship rival. I will say it seems like the AI driver is finishing in the same position most of the time. Unless something goes wrong. God damn it. Seasons after even on clear data give you a chance or once you close it. Is what you're trying to say, ask is uh, if I move on to another decade, is it possible to go back to a previous decade? To, to which I do not know the answer because I have not played the game enough. I'm on the first season of the career. I know nothing else about the game. Oh my god. The shield just blew up. Championship implications. That's huge. P1, baby. Again, I, I have no clue because I am in the first season in the career mode. I've only been playing this game for four hours. It takes more than four hours to complete the career mode, so I don't know. I don't 
don't know how the season by season stuff works in the career mode because I have not played the career mode long enough to know to finish like full season. Black one of them just just cuz. Oh, he's fighting back. Doesn't want to get lapped. Too bad. And yeah. That's a huge win. Brazilian champ. Especially with uh Where was he? Gilles uh, bl blew up, but he finished eighth. I guess it was a temporary blow up. But he didn't score any points, and now I have a 12 point lead. Oh, yeah. I guess Admirer is like the highest uh, relationship rating you can get with the other drivers. Unlocked. Reduce collision damage. Infinite rewinds. You know what? I'm going to throw Gage a bone here. Oh. Oh, Nikki Lauba is mad at me. Alright. You want Nikki? You're an idiot. Ha! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> We're going to uh, Imola next. Rival race. Hmm. All right. Well, that's all the time I have to play this game. I should really go and get ready for work. This is a really cool game. I recommend it. It's if you're looking for a super crazy arcade experience, this isn't it. <laughs> if you're looking for a really fun game with a honestly for what it is, a pretty in-depth career mode where you really have to think about your decisions, this is cool. And the driving also is like really fun. I definitely recommend picking this up. New Star GP.